They tell suckers like Mark Holmes, I can't believe what I'm going to do here. I'm, this is going to be some sort of crazy ass victory lap here with this guy. He was laughing at me today. Philly 500 probably wants to throw up right now. <laughs> yeah. So let's bring him on. Philly 500 and a notorious Mark Holmes here. I can't wait to hear this bullshit. What's going on here with this cowboy team? Uh, uh, hang on for just a second. <sighs> Now wait a minute. What's this? What's this drink for here? Oh, I'm enjoying myself. <laughs> oh, how could you be enjoying yourself beating the what? The great giants? Oh no, no, no just cow. seeing seeing you guys imploding. Once again, he does not care that his team wins or loses. All he cares about are the Eagles. It mm. just the perfect point. It shows it again, does it not? He comes in, he don't care. He don't care that the Giants, they almost beat the Cowboys. Cowboys got no run game. They got can't stop the run. He's just happy the Eagles lost. That's mm -hmm. pathetic. Mark, is that true? It's um, I'm not going to say that I'm happy that my team is not a Super Bowl champion. I'm, I'm not. But seeing Eagle fans do the walk of shame at least makes me feel better. See, you know, Sylph, you know what's so funny, buddy? Yesterday, I'm dealing with a flooded basement here on the East Coast. We got all this rain and everything else. And I, my, my cell phone goes off, and it's a text message from Philly 500. And Philly says, <laughs> what? Sills doesn't want us on? I didn't get a link today. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? It's Tuesday. He's like, oh, that's why nobody was here this morning when I got in. I packed my lunch so I could do the Sill show. He's all fucked up. <laughs> he doesn't even know what day it is. I <laughs> did. That's true. With you. I, I, I'm that's true. With, I'm going to start with you here then. Listen, it, the Buccaneer game knocked you off tilt a little bit, didn't it? When By the time that game ticked the last seconds, how disappointed were you in that effort? It wasn't. It, it wasn't disappointing. It was aggravating. It was like it was literally angry, um, because what that game showed, it, at least from that game by itself, uh, they haven't fixed anything from last year. What have you fixed? Everything is the same. It's all the same problems. Um, so that. So it's more to me. It's more angry than like disappointed or sad. We lost. It was like. No, I'm getting a little sick and tired of this. I'm getting a little sick and tired of, of the coach. I'm getting a little sick and tired of my quarterback can't stop turning the ball over. I'm getting sick of all these rookies that we draft. First round picks all over that offense. I mean, that defensive line don't do nothing. I'm getting a little tired, very tired of this whole Vic Fangio scheme for the last three years that does not fix, does not change ever. It's always the same thing. So I'm just a little bit at the, at the end of the rope with this stuff, you know. I'm, I'm ready to clean house. What the uh, fuck are I... you? What are you fucking smiling at? <laughs> I, I'm just there? enjoying what this because I was sitting I here reminiscing about his schedule picks, where he literally said they were going to be four and zero. Oh, that this was going to be a different yeah, team that was going to go down there and kick Tampa Bay's they ass. Should have been. They should have been three and one. They should be three and one right now. So how's four and zero? Oh, that like. That that hard to imagine if they should be three and one. Billy, I got to ask you a question. Do you think Jalen Hurts is a one year wonder? <laughs> yet, yet, yet to be determined. If if I'm being honest, yet to well, be determined. Well, I can say this about the Dak Prescott. He ain't a winner. Um, no, I, no. I mean, I he's, he's, more, he's more of a he's winner than Dak. 27 turnovers since the beginning of last year. <laughs> Listen, all the turnovers, all the problems. Jalen I'm starting Hurts to feel has. like Mark He's, Holmes here. I have no defense. <laughs> yeah, but but the How's thing about, about, about his guy thing? is is his guy doesn't what have turnovers. His quarterback so great, sixty million dollars. How many playoffs? He's only games had two this year. Two wins in the playoffs. No, Why no, don't you mean, hold your quarterback oh, oh, responsible and you're, and you're, for two wins two, two. in nine you know of all three right? years? What? How, how many playoff wins has your 
My guy's only played four or five oh. years. Your guy's been well, there like 10 what, years. Why can't your guy win? This year. Why can't your guy win? Why can't he win? Why can't he win in the but, playoffs? Yeah, yeah, but see, Why we're, can't we're, he win? No, no, no. Answer. Not, Why can't he win at home hey, Philly, in the Philly, playoffs? Philly, Philly. He was a number we one seed, through. loss. Number two seed, <laughs> loss. He stinks. So don't come here telling me stuff about Dak Prescott. He here, here's, here's what I, I would say, take Philly. Jalen Hurts and the 27 turnovers it. in two years than I would take Dak Prescott. I don't want that bitch boy on my team. <laughs> That's how right. I feel. Can, can I actually F speak and say Dak something Prescott, here? F them just Cowboys. Philly, them Philly bitch just loses ass mother humping team. I hate that stinking team. That team's a hey, bunch of mother I'm going to pull a CBS side people just, here. Just, just give me five minutes. Just give me five Get minutes. Get your Cowboys ass out of here. They stink. <laughs> I, I'm going to pull a CBS on one of you guys in here. Go <laughs> You're going to be in his Go ahead, go ahead, Mark. Go ahead. Oh, but look, I, I'm live as I forgot what I was going to say, but you know, well, it's you don't funny. have anything to because, say. No, it's no. The well, here, here's the difference, though. Here's the difference because you asked me, "Oh, are you happy about this?" I went in knowing that my team was going to be bad. I said, "I, I mean, my team did nothing to try and help themselves get better." Nothing. Oh, you did the not. Expectations you thought they were going to They weren't Stop. saying that the Cowboys Stop. should win the division, Stop. did they? They, they yeah. didn't say that, did they? Yeah, that. They said That's the Cowboys that. suck because Jerry Jones doesn't do shit. But here's the thing. Now, now, I'm going to give you actually a – all jokes aside. All jokes aside. It's a like button. It is like, funny ahead. because a couple, about a month ago I kept hearing everybody saying, isn't it great that the Eagles have all their players locked up for the next couple of years? I see. That, that. Look, that we don't have Cowboy problems where you haven't signed CD or Dak or anything like that. We I got all our guys thing. paid for. And you know I what? I didn't know that was a bad thing. You, Why is all, that a bad thing? All your thing? guys ain't worth shit, apparently. Why is that a bad thing? <laughs> oh, really? I, I'm just really? looking. And, and, and oh, look, okay. and you ain't – listen, how's you that, talk about my man Micah Parsons. How, uh, who's, Micah your Parsons who's your running back? Who's your running back again? put a bomb Jones, off in your locker room, Gomez? bro. Where's Junior Jones Gomez, the running back? Where's he at? Where, where's your running back? Yeah, where is he? Where where, you know where is funny? where is Fabio Luis? Where is he at? Where is his running back? <laughs> That's right. Who? Because they got no running backs. It doesn't who? matter what their but name is. Fabio a, Luis. But, but you know, you, Phil, they don't know, you know what name. is so bad. You, you want to hear what is so bad? It used to be you could talk about Mozzie being a bus. Mozzie sucks. You know what's funny? In the last two weeks, Mozzie's played really well. Mozzie's really? dad. Really? Are People literally well. identical to Jordan. Oh my Davis. God! No, I'm serious. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. Uh, so Jordan he Davis had a tackle for a loss. Last game, he had three tackles so, and three assists. So Jordan Davis is good His now in your numbers, eyes against the fucking your eyes, Giants. Jordan Davis is good. Hey, a wins. Hey, bro. bro. Oh, oh, okay, okay. So we're now not look now. Now we're grading games. Of teams Are you play. suggesting the Giants you get Molly Wild by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers? That you the all Bucks, thought you were going to kick the teeth the in, right? Since, since since December sixth of last year are eleven and four. They're not okay. bad. Yeah, and you they're guys better are, than Dallas. And you guys are three and eight. That's bad. All right, Junior. I got a wins. question for you, though. Cowboy Who playoff wins. wins. Oh no! no I got a question up. for you. I, I'm just it trying is, to enjoy this week. By the way, it is a real thing. Talking to Stephen. Mm -hmm. Getting a text back with a with a, an emoji of a smiley face, mm -hmm. this Devontae Adams thing, mm -hmm. it's it looks like it could be between Jets, Casey, and Dallas. the Cowboys. Um, your take on that, and then the Dallas Cowboys with CD Lamb. I mean, look, if you get CD Lamb and Devontae Adams, oh, you geez. you would have the best receiving core in the East. Well, here's the problem, and here. Well, they froze Whatever, him. Maybe a sense of urgency. All jokes. What here's the problem for us now is Dalvin Cook has got some kind of infection in his knee. He's already out for this week and may miss a couple of uh, games. Okay, he's your next most experienced receiver, and there's been something going on with him the whole time because he left training camp a week early and came back to Dallas, and they didn't say what it was. He missed time in training camp with his knee and so on. So now you're looking at it and saying you only have one weapon, and that is Ceedee Lamb. The Cowboys, of course, don't like to spend money, and Devontae Adams is $27 million. But the Cowboys have traded with the Raiders, uh, I want to say, 10 times. 
You know, Mark so there's Cooper, a relationship Mark Cooper, that's there. Mark Cooper is the last one. Right. So there is a relationship there that might Thanks, end Sean. up being good. Now, I don't know if the Cowboys, and maybe you uh, know more about Stephen Jones. You know, the Cowboys don't want to spend money. They've just paid the money, of course, to C.D. Lamb and Dak Prescott. Although maybe you're not looking at paying Micah Parsons at the moment because of how he's going right here. But Devontae Adams is a steal at 27 million. At 27, yeah, I agree with you on that. But remember, we're talking about the Cowboys that said we couldn't afford um, Derrick Henry, who was only nine million. So I would love to see it because I look at it and say Dak and, and CD need another target out there to spread the ball around. Washington, you get is him there, it'll another. help us. Washington is also another potential landing spot mm -hmm. for um, Devontae Adams because the Raiders would like to trade. Tom Telesco has been on this show, uh, Philly, uh, about two or three times. He was the um, GM of the Chargers when he was last on, and he, he, they're, they're actively moving him. Washington is also a potential landing spot. You'd have uh, Terry McLaurin, and you would have Devontae Adams for that kid. And by the way, I predicted that the Commanders would win the East. Right now, they're in first place. They're three and one. Yeah, yeah but look the best, at the, the best play team right now. They're the best uh, team. They're yeah, probably I, the healthiest. They're probably they the are the healthiest, healthiest and they have a young guy. But thus far, they've had a pretty pretty easy schedule. They haven't exactly played. You know, I don't years. I don't hear you like gloating over your fucking team though, Mark. Like. Philly I has what, 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 what have I well, over Philly's it? problems are injury, new faces, schemes. We all knew that this was going to – what's your excuse for being two and two? And get this, if you would have lost that Giants game, and now also too, you got a but movie star, Mike, that movie star, but Michael Parsons. Don't you have a problem with your guy sitting in a fucking booth with oh. Darius Clay going, hey, honey, what's your foot you, size? You, uh, you, it was you, the you, thing I've still. ever seen. So you know, you know how it used to be back in the day, but unfortunately, this is the Mandy Pamdy. You know, we're worried about concussions and and hitting the quarterback. This is a new league and new kids, man. This shit doesn't make any sense. Am I happy about it? No, but I I will say this much: what he did, you guys, a lot more than what it did us. For Darius Slay, after getting beat by. Well, because um, Philly by fans Tampa hold Bay their to go through there and kind of laugh about his guy. Philly fans hold their teams more accountable oh. for their players. That's actions. so. That's very true. But that's true. Very, very. True. And and for him to have Cowboys to walk his name and try and basically way. back yeah. it up and say, "Oh man, I, you know, I'm the captain." That that might be the locker room divide that might blows this whole thing up for you guys. And Philly, Kellen Moore, how did that Kellen Moore thing this? working for you? What'd you make of that Slade thing with? Parsons, man, what was your oh, take I away with that? I, I I didn't like it at all. I I, I don't understand. Um, you know, during the season, going on 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 the rivals podcast, first of all. But to me, the the bigger issue to me was, I I felt like if I was C.J. Gardner Johnson, I would feel that my man was kind of laughing at me. That's yeah, what I bothered me. That's what bothered <laughs> yeah. me the most. That's exactly. You know? it. Um, and and I have a problem with that because uh, I I thought Slay should have stood up for him a little more. Like you know he could he could have said, listen man, he was in New Orleans. That was a big game. Like he he laughed about it. I, I so I didn't like it. I I didn't like it all. And that that was the main reason why. Um, so no, I mean of course well, I, I I don't to, like to it. add to that. Let me add to that. I don't know if you watch Michael Parsons podcast and stuff, but there was already a beat with him and CJ Gardner because basically. Micah Parsons the week before was talking about who's this guy talking about New Orleans, this, that, and the other. And so CJ is going through and pointing out to all the people that he's gotten jerseys and everything else from. So for then Micah to go through and get your own teammate to go ahead and laugh at you because I don't, you're I don't talking like about that. putting, oh, I, I'd be pissed off. And, and I see Lord Brunson and everybody else is like, Dude, you know what the fuck are you doing? People, you know, yeah, of course. About Nobody it. liked it, but we. No, like, but wait, 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 Mark. The only person that would like that would be like loser cowboy fans because you know why? You don't hey. hold anybody. You don't hold anybody accountable. I mean, no, Michael Parsons. Michael Parsons is not focused on the most important thing. You know what that is? Fucking winning. 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 And that's why I looked at the season where he's got one sack right now, and we're looking at all this stuff. You know, I can guarantee you the next year he's got he's one play, sack. He's got one sack. Yeah, one sack. That was week one. I think and got like now you've got the injury. I can guarantee, knowing the Joneses, just like um, C.D. Lamb did, he'll be playing on the fifth-year option. I would fifth-year option his ass, too.
Yeah, it's already. I mean, it's already done. That I, I wouldn't be in a rush to go ahead and hurry and get them signed. That's the thing the Cowboys do. Philly bets a hundred bucks on the Eagles versus the Cowboys. You know, I'll Mark. That. I'll definitely. I'll that. send you a. I'll send you a five hundred. <laughs> you don't have. You don't have to send me any money. I'll do it myself. I'll, I'll, I'll do that I'll, anyway. I'll, I'll, I'll do it. I'll, I'll do it anyways. We're, we're gonna. We're gonna. Yeah, can, hopefully can I give you guys some out. good news at least? What? There's another one here. Oh. Dallas Cowboys have a tough schedule. They have Steelers. Like, yes. Here. Lost, hey, lost, lost, yeah. lost. Hold on. Lost, yeah, look. Lost. Look at this. Hey, They're here's for Mark. Going on lost, nice losing loss, 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 loss. <laughs> Maybe. They lost. There's six losses in oh, a row. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, look at yeah. that. And on this, the reverse this is of that. Mark's, this is eight. Mark's heyday. This is his That's last. why I'm enjoying this, man. I don't yeah, know what next have week another week drink. after all. Because, <laughs> because eight. you would stink. Well, here, here's the good news for you guys is when you come off your bye, you got the Browns, you got the Giants, you Chubb's got the back. Bengals, and then you got the Jacks before you Chubb's play. Doesn't, it doesn't. All that does that doesn't matter. To to me, none uh, of that. You get four wins. Play, I tell you what, right. you go six and two. Doesn't matter. You go six and two right there, Mark, and then you play the Cowboys. Listen, listen. They've got to address. It does not matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Because we we play down to the competition because we 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 can't get things right. To me, the best thing about coming off this bye, besides being healthy, is the fact that I feel like we're at the end of this thing. If if this coach can't make the adjustments th after this bye week and this team can't get it going, I think it's over. I think it's over for him. So um, we're we're finally at the end of the road with him. He's either going to Billy. Would you have fired him in the bye? No, I'd have fired him at last of all season, like I said. But, um, you know, here's my issue. Before you even fire him, you know, and, and you want to talk about Jalen Hurts and all his problems, before we can sit there and say, okay, well, Jalen Hurts isn't the quarterback and we're going to have to move on from him. Let's get Nick Sirianni out of the way of the offense so that we can figure out what we have. We can't figure out what we have when we have a quarterback who probably doesn't like the coach, doesn't trust what he does, goes out on the field and then tries to play hero ball because he feels like he has to make up for the deficiency of his head coach. So until we figure that out, how are we supposed to know what Jalen Hurts can become and he can't? Because the truth of the matter is, still, this coach is calling the plays still. This is his offense. He's still running the show. And it's a big problem. It's a big problem. You think, you think Jalen Hurts – is being held back by Sirianni more than yeah. anything else and that this I thing here and you're you've got <clears throat> they did him a giant disservice by bringing Nick back yeah I do I honestly feel like that now I'm listen it may turn out that Jalen Hurts isn't the guy okay fine but I can't make that judgment with this head with this head coach when he goes from oh it's Moore's offense oh I only call the plays sometimes oh you know when I feel the need yeah I'm I am calling the plays so it's like what what is going on here clearly you can see when when it's Moore's offense and it's and it's Nick's on, on the field and I I think that if Jalen Hurts doesn't trust the coach then he's going to feel like he's got to go out there. And he's got to he's got to do something about it. So, um, I think I think we got to figure out if the future is this coach. And I think after the bye week, I think this is it. So I think we're finally at the end. That's the best thing about this bye, because I think that if this guy goes two and four, two and five, uh, it's over for him. You think if he would have lost that New Orleans game and he would have lost that Bucks game, they'd have fired him in the in the uh, bye? Yeah, he had to. I would have. Wow. I think so. Here's hey, Mark, that, let, me, let, me ask but, let, let me say something about Kellen Moore. So y'all keep thinking that every, for whatever reason, everybody always wants to protect oh, Kellen Moore. Oh, and, I, listen, and, and I, I know what you're no, doing. No, I know I'm not, what you're no, doing. No, 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 no. I'm yes, trying to yes. tell you. you. You're trying to – he's already trying to pass the blame off of Dak on a Kellen Moore. Oh, the my God. The offense that is okay. running Here, in Here's the problem with you hiring Kellen, Kellen Moore, Moore is you didn't bring it, Dak Prescott with them. The only time Kellen Moore has looked why, good why? as a so coach he could lose he had more Dak playoff Prescott. Games? And it was so because Dak games? Prescott made up for Kellen Moore's shortcoming. 
You guys act like, whoa, why oh, didn't he run Saquon oh, Barkley more than one time oh, after a big run? Oh, That's he, what Kellen Moore does. He, I he made up. Tell you, Philly. He made up. He made up for his shortcomings, right? When he threw oh, that pick six God. versus Green Bay in the playoffs, that was okay. that was Kellen Moore's right. fault, and he so got crushed. In you, the what playoffs, you guys right? did was you that went was to the Kellen team Moore. that you literally said stinks in the playoffs, and you get the guy who's been calling the plays for yeah, them in the playoffs. Because you know why? They figure, you oh, he's Kellen, gonna do great here you in took Philadelphia. Kellen Moore, That's insanity, took, bro. No, no, because when you took Kellen Moore. Out of the Cowboys, they still stunk in the playoffs. It my didn't guy, change. Well, I tell you what, my did guy was not runner up MVP. How did you guys at, do last the year? The first How number do do? two seed to ever lose to a number seven seed. Uh, you so know, your and quarterback's again, biggest accomplishment in the playoffs is he's lost as a number one seed and he's lost as a number two seed. So how are you going to put that and, on? And more? guess what? And guess what? And Nobody and this will well, help you a three seed and lose. Yet here we are with the same record after you went out there and got Devin White, went out there and got there? Yourself, made a trade for um, uh, Dodson, right? Mm -hmm. Went out there and got, uh, uh, what's his name, the, the, the edge rusher. You, I can't even remember huh. his name because he does huff out there. Uh, let's see, who else have you traded for or signed that's been a bum this they year? They signed Gardner Johnson. Oh, Gardner Johnson, who literally is getting trashed by his own teammates. How's this mm -hmm. stuff working out for all these big signings that you guys did? It's four games in a season. And Let's how's see. how's that elite? How's defense Saquon Barkley doing? Field? How's Saquon Barkley that's, doing? That's the one oh, saving yeah. grace. That's why, the only reason why, team, why Nick still has a job right now. Why did your team care enough about them winning and go out and get Saquon Barkley? But that's why what we do. Cowboys so that's expected. Well, Derrick Henry they ran didn't all up say your the ass. Dallas Cowboys okay? are one of the best teams in the NFC, did they? And then you know what he did? They didn't say they were going to win the division. All up your ass. And then drove around the corner to his house. That's what he Wait. did. Hey, I Mark, he I do have to ask a question here. Dude, hey, I feel like cowboy guy now. <laughs> I have no answers here, but I do have a question for you. You ready? I'm ready. All right. So you signed Dak to $60 million. Mm -hmm. Why? Well, where you we going? don't know. Where, where are you going? Hold on, hold on, hold where are you on. going with your boy? Where are you going with him? Hold on. Well, that, that's the big question. Uh, and, and I'm going to tell you why the Jones assigned Dak Prescott. Tell me. And and I have to – maybe you can ask Stephen Jones because I don't think it's about winning. It's not. It's about getting paid. Because here's what I said. And I said to myself, Dak, why would you sign back with the Cowboys? That's a loser mentality. Are? But see, here, here, here's the thing. Here's what's crazy is I'm sitting here last night watching the game, and I see – Dak Prescott ad for Marvel's um, ah, shit, what the, the the crazy creature and stuff. Dak Prescott on a Marvel ad on TV. Great. Okay. Uh, no, no. Listen to me. What I'm saying what is, I don't see th that. That's what it's all about in Cowboy Land. That's why Mike and Parsons does his podcast. See, you can't it's not, do that. And I, I'm not happy not gonna, about this. But this is what it is. It. You're trying to downplay your bullshit and your your incompetence oh. at. Who you are as a cowboy right now? Because get this, look at Philly. Look at it, hey folks. Look at the difference between Mark today and Philly. Philly's pissed off. You know what this guy is? He's he's like, I'm happy we're two and two. It It'll might be the only day of the year I'll be able to go. Week. Yeah, dude. It, it, it might be because we got a victory this past week and you lost. You ever think about that? Doesn't I know matter. it was only two, the I know it was only ago, the Giants. Two weeks ago, two weeks ago, we both had losses, and you came in happy. No, I, I wasn't. I yeah, wasn't you happy. did. Go look at no. the thing. No, last you week I literally did the walk of shame. Ago, I was you, you last week, bro. When, after we got New beat Orleans by Baltimore, Saints, when the New Orleans Saints went into Dallas and bent you over and scored forty four <laughs> points. Go on back you. to the tape, Philly. I wasn't and, happy. And enough. you came in happy. happy because the Eagles lost. <laughs> it, it, at least, well, oh, you, you go know look at the tape. I, actually, okay, I tell you bent what. You over. As opposed, to, yeah, they bent this over. Uh, there ain't no doubt. But here's. Here's the, the crazy thing about the NFL, though, is the first two weeks, New Orleans looked like world beaters, right? Now they okay. look like their car is a car crash. First three weeks, Buffalo looked like they were great. First two weeks, Baltimore looked like shit. Now Baltimore yeah, looks Buffalo's like you know, going it's place. a week-to-week -week league. You don't know what to expect. For all we know, next week – oh, I forgot. You're off, so you won't get a win next week. But when you come back from, oh, you might all of a sudden get on a roll with all these 
you know, cheap teams that you got in front I'll bet of you. you. Dallas has a, I bet you, I bet you the Eagles have a better week than the Cowboys do this coming week. Well, we are truly beat up. We've got D Lyle, who's going to be gone four <laughs> to eight truly weeks. Beat up, but so we're truly beat up over the Eagles. Wait, okay. the Eagles had their We've time off. Micah, miss, Micah missing I Parsons is going to be missing probably the next shit. two weeks at least. We've got Deron Bland. We don't know he's going to come wait, back. Where's he going? For Kansas? whatever reason, Dalvin Cook is just still not ready. I, wait, I don't wait, know wait, wait, wait. Where's Micah Parsons going? Is he going like to um, the Oscars? Where's he going? I, I mean, he, he's got um, uh, he's got a hurt ankle. Oh, he's I thought he was going to Chance uh, Film Festival or to the Oscars or well, something. I, I bet he'll I show up Monday for his, his – I'm sure he'll show up Monday for his podcast. Yeah, I'm sure he will too, man. All right, let me give you this. What do you – are you – I'll give you an – I'll give you an opportunity out of Mulligan here. Give me your record this year. I'm still going to be by 10-7. Philly? Oh, fuck, dude. Don't do it like that. I mean, dude, you look like know. you got Ajita. You look right now like you need fucking, like, uh, you need, you, you, hey, honestly, guy, you need Bjorski or something here, I, man. Because I, 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 I'm just so aggravated with, with you like, look I, it, I man. Just, I mean, you're pissed. I, I'm, why, I'm, are you I'm so more... pissed? why are you so pissed off? Because, <laughs> because, <laughs> because nothing changed in terms right. of. Of of what you had to do to fix the problems, you just you just put new coaches in, brought some couple players in, but then you kept doing the same thing. See, to me, the talent isn't the issue of this roster. I think they've got the talent, but you got to use the guys the right way. How do you go out against Tampa Bay and run Saquon Barkley ten times in in that game when you don't have your two best receivers? Right? No, it's not Kellen Moore. You keep saying Kellen Moore. It's not oh my him. God. It's Bro. the head coach Nick Sirianni, and he's Bro. even admitted it. Okay, it's the coach, and you have a head coaching problem. And to me, that's what's aggravating because you can see the talent. You can see what they need to do. Uh, you know, when they played New Orleans and they were aggressive on defense, Sills so they they shut down a team with good talent. Okay, so you know that they can do. Uh, good things out on the field, but I mean, you you gotta you you just come out and have the same problems year after year. It gets it, it, I'm just frustrated with it. I, I'm at the end. I, I feel like we're wasting another season with talented players because the coach is is screwing everything up. That's how I feel how about this. <clears throat> I wrote down five guys. I had eleven dudes that I put for a potential replacement for Sirianni. It's time to start okay. talking about this. Okay. Um, I got Ben Johnson, Lions OC. Yes, Bobby Flowick, Texans OC. Those are my top Joe two. Brady, Buffalo OC. Todd Munkin, the offensive coordinator of the Baltimore Ravens with Lamar. And my last one's John Gruden. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I, I don't want Gruden. And not, and not because I don't think he's a good coach. I just don't believe that coaches that win somewhere else ever win in another place. Well, how many coaches he's have won, won two he, Super Bowls? Well, right, he, he's, he's won, won two. He's won an AFC championship. Right, but he's, he's won one Super won, Bowl, and he's won a Super Bowl in an and, NFC championship. And if you look at NFL history, I don't know. I don't know if maybe one coach out of the whole history of the NFL. I don't even know if it's been that has won a Super Bowl in two different places. So I Dick would prefer. Real. He no, didn't no, win a Super Bowl. no, no, he didn't. Won. He came in second. No, I don't think anybody has ever done it. Yeah, I think so, you're right. So, so I, you know, so history tells us that don't work out. Um, but the, you know, the off the Lions' offensive coordinator is very appealing. Him or the Texans would be my my choice. You know why I like Munkin, um, Mark, is because Munkin runs the RPO, and it's more to Jalen's skill set of what he did in 22 which made him an MVP, and it's kind of what they do in Baltimore now. The problem with the Eagles, like I told Philly before, they're they're coaching him horribly, and they're doing the same thing they did to Carson Wentz. They're, they're, they're coaching the greatness out of him. And the thing that made him great was the RPO in 22, mm -hmm. not throwing the ball. He wasn't drafted to the Eagles to be a starter. He was drafted to be a backup. But they're trying to turn him into this frontline passer 
which he'll never be. Like, mm -hmm. get this. People think that the Eagles would have played better if they would have had A.J. and Devontae. Well, fuck, they had them last year in lane and the back end of that schedule, and they went one and seven with them. To, to, to Philly's point, nothing's gotten better. Philly, they would have been a tad bit more competitive against the Bucs, but they had those same guys last year when they went through that nuclear meltdown. What's the, this is not that's just three saying. guys missing. No, but that, that's what I'm saying. You went into this Buccaneers. The Buccaneers beat you in the playoffs. And you come out crushed and you don't have your two. They crushed you. And you come out and you do the same thing that you did the year before. Okay? And Kellen Moore wasn't there the year before. But Nip Sirianni was. And when it looks similar to the same plays you ran last year, you know who it is. Okay, nobody's gonna convince me that this is Kellen Moore. I, there's no no way in hell this is Nick Sirianni. And to me, I I think that I don't get it. And then then the whole defensive scheme. Listen, we've been running Vic Fangio's scheme for three years, for three years. And 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 under his scheme is the only time I've seen quarterbacks have a half where they go fourteen of fifteen. 38 to 39. <laughs> like, I'm so tired uh, of it, Sills. You know, that's not even the Eagles' identity. The Eagles' identity was an aggressive 4-3 defense that used to blitz the hell out of you. Buddy Ryan, Bud Carson, you had um, Jim Johnson. You know, that. let's get back to our DNA. Let's get back to what we do. Uh, see, that's how I feel. See, look at this, and then you look at Mark, and he's like, meandering uh, over I, here. I, I feel like. I feel Looking like Philly around. 500 has given up. Have Cowboys. you given up, Philly? No, I'm not giving up. I'm on a bye week. No, that's I'm you. Getting, I'm, I'm getting it all okay. out. By next week, so, hey, next Philly, Sunday, when hey, we Philly, hit the field, I'll be like, it? all right, we're ready to go. But hey, no, Philly, right now, it it's bye week. It's Thursday. I mean, Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> no. So no. I woke up. I went to work at 5 a.m. on Tuesday. I'm like, man, I haven't heard from Sills. So I'm like, Mark, it's so I, really, I thought it was Wednesday all day. I was, wow. I was So the, yeah. wait, the Eagles, the Sunday ass beating by the Bucks knocked you <laughs> off kilt that much. Yeah. It literally yeah. knocked it back in time. <laughs> I, I, you know, when, when it was, when it wasn't even that. Well, Mark, you're used to losing, so I understand but, why. But so we didn't lose, lose. Bro, bro, bro. You keep missing the point. We at least got a victory in the division. Stills, we Stills, at least say, it's, hey, it's not even that, you know, it's not even that uh, Barack Obama was president the last time the Giants beat Dak Prescott. We got at least a, gil, a, a good feeling moment. This was you last week beating New Orleans, even though you guys have been asked ass going into that game. You mean New Orleans that put up 44 on you? Well, you know, again, <laughs> they put up 12 we're, we're the Cowboys. We don't sign any free agents, okay? We yeah. got a bad quarterback. We got, you know, five yeah, time at running back, Zeke Elliott, that we can't put on the field. We don't have yeah, the best I running agree. back in football like you You do don't have any running Central. back in football. We don't have Howie Vision, the best GM in the world. We don't have well, the I got, I got genius with for, Ellen I got Moore. With him we too. don't have Dracula. You guys got, oh, an all-world defensive front. Wait, no, I got wait, 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 Howie. Howie. Philly, Philly, what's your problem with Howie? Well, I mean, the, the truth of the matter is, is you have Jordan Davis first round pick, Jalen Carter first round pick, uh, Nolan Smith first round pick. You have all these picks that are first round, second round picks, and they're not producing. So well, at what and point? Dean. And the, so what point Third do you down. say to Howie? You can't be the talent evaluator anymore. Bryce Huff can't be your big free agent signing to come in and not produce. So to me, I think Howie's great with contracts, with trades. I would not get rid of him, but I think you there's it's time to put somebody who's a, a talent evaluator in that place. It's just being Unless these guys turn around the season, it's only week four. But if Nolan Smith goes the whole year with a half a sack or two sacks, but listen to you. You're not you're you're saying it's only week four, but listen to you how you're talking. You're He's talking totally like cool. it's yeah. been a year and a half of this, and you know it. That know. you see, that's why that's why it's aggravating to you because hey, you could say this. Hey, look, man, like when you were 10 and 1 a year ago and you saw a couple bad games, you were probably like this a year ago. It's gonna turn around, man. I mean. You know, right. fourteen and three the year before. You're ten and one. Yet one time you were twenty four and four at one time last year. Then the thing blew up, 
And then that's kind of the frustrating part of this. Yeah, Mark, you would never know what 24 and 4 in an NFC title is. I mean, the last time you saw you that, guys would never honestly, know God, you were four. Like winning Super Bowls back to back. Oh, God. When was but, that? But hold it. When but MySpace was popular? <laughs> you have to get your VHS. Go point. Mark still, I guess his VHS still works. My VHS, <laughs> I does. got rid of a Actually, long time ago. It works really yeah. good. Okay? It's a push but, button. Hey, but hey, hold hey, it. Yeah. This, this, hey, Miss is this how he calls here. you? Does he I'm call you on one of these? He does. Yeah. No, he's got no, he's got the the other one, the whole one. Hold it. Real talk. You act like you're surprised about the first round picks that you guys have. You haven't had a great first round pick since Lane Johnson in 2013. Bullshit. Bullshit. Oh, no, let's go through it. Okay, hold on, hold on. Marcus Smith, Smith in 2014. Aguilar 2015. 2015. Carson Wentz. Derek Barnett. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> okay, you know how much you hate Derek Barnett. Andre yeah. Diller. Jalen yeah. Radar. Now, Devontae Smith, that's a good one. Jordan Davis. Are you really saying Jordan Davis is still a good first-round pick? I, I don't know. He shows flashes. Jalen Carter and Nolan Smith. Jalen Carter, yeah. Jalen Carter, I'm not, I'm not giving stud. up on. I'm not giving up Jaylen on Jalen Carter. Jalen Carter's a stud. And listen, I, I me personally, I wanted Jordan Davis. I wanted him, so I did too. You know, I, I, I did wanted too. I Jordan Davis. The body of I wanted. Else. I wanted Davis. Um, mm -hmm. I wanted Carter. Nolan Smith. I was like, eh, all right, whatever. We're taking them that that position, fine. But I, yeah, I mean, I wanted those guys. But at the end of the day, I'm not the GM, so I don't have to be held responsible. The GM does, and if these guys, I'm not saying. Look, it, it's early. Maybe it'll pan out. Maybe a different scheme would help out. But uh, right now, we, we need to get production from our picks. So Howie's got to be, you know, he's got to be held accountable, too, to some of these moves. To me, the Bryce Huff signing is the one that's unforgivable. It's a disaster. That's Ooh. the unforgivable one because you traded Reddick. What's that? that, that yeah, I mean, that's I, the Reddick thing is a disaster. I, I, I never hey, liked that trade from the beginning. Hey, Philly, when was – when when did Howie – when did he take over for Chip back again as GM? Do you remember it what was, year that was? I want to say two two thousand. I think two thousand fourteen, two thousand thirteen, yeah, fourteen or fifteen. I think fourteen or fifteen. Yeah. Let's do what it Mark was, just did. Let's do I can tell you did. which picks were were his and which okay. chips. Mark Marcus Smith, Howie. That's the Howie. Nelson Aguilar, Chip. <laughs> 2016 Carson Wentz. That's a Howie. That that was Howie. And listen, I'm I, I'm sorry, but I know he's not on our team anymore. But we don't win a Super Bowl without him. We have zero Super Bowls. I agree with you. If, if, you don't win. So you don't I win can't. home field. You don't win home field advantage no. without Carson. So Wentz. I can't. I can't say that's a bad pick. And no. if you look at what Howie did to get up to get that pick, was absolutely amazing. And that's where he's strong at making trades and deals. Well, let me let me go here. 2017. Derek Barnett. I would be Howie. 2019, Andre Dillard. Howie. 2020, Jalen Rager. Howie. 2021, Devontae Smith. Howie. 2022, Jordan Davis. Howie. And Jalen Carter in 23 and Quinion Howie. Mitchell in 24. Okay. All Howie. Howie's had So since control. 2014, not counting Carter and Mitchell, you would have to say, and I'm talking only first round because Jalen was in the second. There's been some Smith, other guys here. Don't forget Devontae Smith, too. And Devontae mm -hmm. Smith. So really the only guy that's been successful since he's taken over okay. has been Devontae Smith since 2014. Is that fair? Yeah, I, I guess it's fair. Nolan Smith, um, too. Nolan Smith, too. Nolan Smith, too. But I, I would say that, you know, I, I still think that you got to let Jordan Davis play out this year. And I still think uh, Quinion Mitchell is out there playing. He looks he, good he, right now. He does. And and Jalen Carter, we know what kind of talent he has. So um, they're not all complete misses. But, uh, you know, I think, I think there has to be a conversation about – getting somebody to help with the talent evaluation one way or the well, other. Well, here's what I would say to Mark now. I mean, on the other side of that, I mean, Mark, you know, as, as sometimes you guys are saying, 
what kind of great players you have. At the end of the day, I think you overvalue your players. You know, some yeah. of them are good, but they're not. I mean, look at CD Lamb. CD Lamb, thirty-six million dollars. I'm not paying him. You know, him. Bro, here's the here's the thing: if the Cowboys at front office and the Eagles front office were to merge, if we were able to get Howie's moves that he makes with the Cowboys drafting and the way we, cap, the way he handles the cap, yeah, we, the, the, nobody would ever be able to compete with us. Because the thing you have to look at with the Cowboys is they do find players, okay? When you start thinking about get all the players that we have that we have to end up paying is because they're guys we drafted. Nobody hits on first rounds better than the Cowboys. Second round, well, not so much. But that's our problem is they believe so much in their drafting that they don't go out and get anybody else. To It's, it's malpractice not to have gone out and at least talk to Derrick Henry. They wouldn't even pick it, up the it, phone. It, it is. Listen, guys, I got I got to wrap this thing up here, but I want to get your final your final takes here now, and I'm going to start with you, Mark. Um, moving forward, you still see a winning season. You see ten and seven. You see them competing because here's where I'll say this about the NFC. I don't really see a world beater in the NFC nope. this year, so I think that favors a lot of teams right now. That you like you said, there's a ton of teams that are going two and two. Shit, I mm -hmm. think certain teams that are one and three will still have an opportunity to get into the postseason, especially on the NFC side. So you still think your team is a playoff team. And these next couple of weeks, you're going to be without Lawrence and you're going to be without Parsons. Do they they have to survive this without those two if they're going to be a contender? And yeah. also this, do you think that expedites potentially Devontae Adams? Now that you have to get another body in there because those two players are out. If I were the G, I would think that it would. But we're talking about Jerry Jones, who says we're all in, and then tells you we can't afford Derrick Henry. Um, I think that they can't afford not to make a move, either with him or Amari Cooper. They're going to need to get some extra help from there. We're going to literally need to outscore everybody because we are beat up really bad on the defense. Um, I still look at it and say, we've got a tough road to hoe the next four weeks or so. If we can find a way to go 500 during that period, it gets easier going down the stretch. Now for the Eagles, you know, you actually have a cake schedule the next month when you come back from there. That's where you guys could actually get healthy. I'm not looking for it. I'm hoping that you continue to implode. But I could see you guys easily being 6-2 and two at the midway part. Yeah, and I could see. literally see us being 3-5. and five. Yeah, and I that's the reality of it because we've got Philly. a lot of tough games without players. Do you, Philly, I think do you we, echo that? Yeah, I think we could win eleven to twelve games. Still, I mean, I still think it's possible. But you got to fix. You got to fix some of the things you know that have hurt you. You should. This team should be three and one right now in the bye week, right? But the coaching was has been a problem. I I think in in the last two games. So or you know so. Uh, they got to figure some things out, and they got to get healthy. But I mean, the next four games are all winnable games. Uh, but they they just they just got to get going. I think I think the number one thing that they could do right now is to give complete control without without question to Nick to Kellen Moore. Give him complete <laughs> control um, because. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Please do. That's what Please I would. Do. That's what I would do. Yeah, that's what I would do. Oh yeah, like Nick Sirianni, some genius. Let's give him control. Uh, I don't think so. Um, yeah, that's what I would do. And if they can do that, I think I think they could go on a run. Um, you know, obviously, you know, Mark's Philly's got pissed off. You Philly's pissed off. You're you're just. I don't know where you are right now, bro. You know, I mean, it, it, it's it's loser bro. mentality. He's used to losing. That's it. That's what happens Bro, after three you, years. You guys have literally taken me to a ditty party without the baby. I have not taken you to a ditty party. No, you guys. I have not taken you to a ditty party. All season, man. You've oh, been bending dead. me over and getting me. dropping a ditty <laughs> reference. Just, enjoy, just a scintilla <laughs> of, of enjoyment of yeah. seeing you guys suffer. Yeah, a ditty reference from Mark Holmes. Who would have thought that? <laughs> <sighs> I can promise you, honey, the only person that's had baby oil rubbed in her back is a Cowboy fan. That's for oh, Dan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, nice. you, 
Give it uh, one week. Mark's gonna call. I don't know if I should be wearing a bag over my head. Give it one week. I, I I'm one seriously. Week. I, I was ready to wear a bag last week. Yeah. And, and then they beat the Giants. I mean, they, they look so bad against the Giants. It's not even funny. They did. If the, they if the Giants had week, any, bro, bro. if the Giants had week. any semblance of a run game, they would have won. Yeah, if they that, had that Barkley, they had Barkley Washington, who barely escaped beating them. Though, right? Washington's We're, getting better, though. That yeah. kid but is going to be Washington better. the week before barely beat that him. Kid, yeah, but they're they're getting better every week. Yeah, but they're getting uh, better with a rookie I, quarterback. I, that kid is good. I, I'm sorry. I yeah. think that I think Washington he's the best the quarterback threat. right now in the division. They're 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 the toughest opponents for the Eagles right now. It's not Dallas. It's Washington. Oh, we own that Philly ass. No, you don't. <laughs> you have, you have nothing. This guy, this guy, this guy really is nuts. Sills, you gotta be nuts because People who the, the hell like loses every year in the you. first round of the playoffs? And this guy don't care. It just keeps doing the same stupid thing. It's like Groundhog Day with Mark. Ah. It's, I, I just can't believe it. You you you've had the same quarterback for nine years and he can't get out of the first round of the playoffs, and you're happy about it. Like, how can you be happy about that? That would drive – I lose one week, I lose my mind. He loses every year in the playoffs. By they get utter, He was looking for Super Bowl tickets before that game versus Green Bay. Hey, he was, he was hey, searching hey, Billy, what, hey, what Billy, day it's it? October 2nd, Wednesday, just to keep, him, <laughs> keep you on. Shit, I was supposed to be somewhere an hour ago. Damn. <laughs> hey, hey, Mark, thanks a lot, dude. You took your victory lap. <sighs> me. Any last parting words? Oh, next week it's a week to week league, so I'll probably be crying next week. Don't lose. Don't lose. You're not going to want to come on here next week if you lose. Hey, 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 Philly, any party shots? Yeah, Dallas still stinks. (laughs) And Eagles still swallow. Uh, Oh, you would know. (laughs) You would know. There we go, man. Hey, guys, thank you so much. Thank you. So much time. You guys were great, man. Bye. Holy cow, man. One guy was pissed off. The other guy was relishing in the pain of Philly 500, man. You see, Mark is drinking uh, scotch and soda, and he's going, you see that, dude, man? Holy shit. We're going to take a timeout. Holy cow. Mark Holmes, you know what he did, too? He texted me this morning with just laughing out loud emojis like this. He he He, he was so... And you know what? For the first time, I felt like Mark Holmes on the show. I had nothing to say. <laughs> I had nothing to say. Make sure you check his show out with Bet US as well. Philly 500s with Bet US, with us with Bet US. Hit the like button, Xander Kraus around the corner. Keep it here, National Football Show. If you missed any of today's show on the Jacob Media channel, listen to the podcast on your way home. Available on YouTube, Apple, and Spotify.